Crash uh, from CrashFarver.com and uh, we just got the Jelly Bean update for the Galaxy S3 uh, so as you can see I'm running Android 4.1.1 that's Jelly Bean so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what new features we get with Jelly Bean right now so uh, first thing you notice about Jelly Bean uh, the Jelly Bean update on the Galaxy S3 is that it feels a lot more faster and snappier project butter is definitely active uh, the notification bar has been worked on you can see the settings uh, and the uh, what do you say the uh, time and date being displayed there. Uh, the, the, a certain amount of work has gone into the not notification bar here. Uh, the settings menu has also been revamped. Uh, as you can see here, a few new icons uh, and a lot of new options. So let's start with the options here in the settings menu. The first thing here is the blocking mode. Uh, it kind of acts like uh, you can disable notifications like incoming calls, notifications, alarm and timer and so on uh, during a certain time period. It's kind of like the do not disturb function with the iOS devices. Uh, you also get a home screen mode. Uh, you can either use your, uh, use your normal uh, basic mode or you can switch to the easy mode. So let me show you how it is. With the easy mode, uh, you can, what do you say, the uh, font sizes are a little larger and uh, the phone is a lot more simpler to use. So guys, uh, this I feel is a step in, the, uh, in a positive direction because generally when people ask me uh, whether to buy an iPhone or an Android device, I tell them if you're buying a phone for yourself, get an Android. If you're buying it for someone else, say parents or you know grandparents or somebody like that, get an iPhone because an iPhone out of the box in my opinion is simpler to use uh, but the but Android uh, gives you unrivaled customization options so I seriously don't want to buy a phone for my mom and have her asking me what to do for this and what to do for that and so on so for my peace of mind I would rather get it on an iPhone so I would say this is a step in, the, in a positive direction for people uh, you know who want to have a simpler user interface so that's that. Uh, the camera has also been revamped, guys, to to an extent. So, okay, I'm loading up the camera here. So, with the video with the video mode, you also get a pause bu pause button here, so that you don't have to actually have to stop the video. You can just pause it, and then continue recording. Uh, but then again, guys, one feature that I was really expecting here is the ability to turn on and turn off flash in between. Uh, it is still missing. This is a feature that the HTC One X had right from, I mean, right from the time uh, it was released, right out of the box. You had the facility, and uh, this is something I was expecting. Um, a little bit disappointed here, but still, there are a lot of goodies to go around here. Uh, now moving on from the home screen and the camera, you also, since it's Jelly Bean, you get Google Now. The recent app screen has also been revamped here, and you can just uh, tap the G over there to go to Google now next next yes I'm in who directed the gladiator was directed by Ridley Scott so it works fine so I'm talking about uh, voice commands here uh, the, the keyboard has also been revamped a bit and uh, the voice uh, voice dictation has been added but this time around it is offline so I've just turned off my Wi-Fi and I don't have my data connection active offline voice dictation So there you see, it works, works pretty good. Okay. Another addition here, guys, is with regards to the uh, pop-up player. So let me quickly go into the gallery, load up a video. So I'm gonna use the pop-up player here. Let me just reduce the volume. All right. So in the past, uh, we, we, wouldn't, we were not able to resize the pop-up player. But right now, if you can just do that, depending on your need. And you don't have to tap and hold it to actually close it. You can just tap it and tap the X to close it. And that's a great addition. 
There have also been a few more subtle changes here, like uh, when you press and hold the power button, the uh, device options menu over here has been changed a little bit. And similarly, inside the settings menu, there have been a, a quite a few changes as well. Say for example, when you head on uh, head into either the icons over here for lock screen and so on have been changed. And uh, when you head into, what is that? Motion? Why do I have motion now? Okay. Uh, you get checkboxes over here instead of the dragging sliders which we used to have. So there are quite a few changes, but these are the main changes that I noticed once I upgraded my phone to Jelly Bean. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. So that's pretty much it guys for this video on uh, what new features we get with the Galaxy S3's official Jelly Bean update. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and get this update, click on the link in the description and that will take you to my video on how to flash this update onto your phones. And uh, that's pretty much it guys. If you have, if you have any questions uh, you know, rela related to flashing this firmware, you can hit us up on uh, cursefarver.com slash forums. That's C-U-R-S-E-D the number 4 eva.com slash forums you can follow me on facebook twitter or google plus to stay updated with my latest updates uh, so that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching and before you go make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and if you guys want to do me a favor use my links to amazon in the description uh, you don't necessarily have to purchase smartphone related stuff if there's anything that you want to order online just go ahead click those links go to amazon through it search for whatever you want and order it Every time you do that, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks and your prices remain the same. So do that if you guys do want to help me out. And uh, just check out uh, cuspover.com for uh, more Galaxy S3 content. And uh, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay subscribed and I'll see you guys soon. Till then, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.